I got me a new tool. So I have some videos on my other channel, The Roadhouse, where I like to talk about some of the tools that I have, why I chose them, and how that's working out. Now, if I'm gonna get a new tool, I can't really talk about the and how that's working out part. So I figured uh, for tool unboxings, like new, new looks at new tools, I do videos for that here and then put it through the grueling test of working with it in the shop for about a year and then revisit it on the other channel and do uh, an actual review of the tool. So uh, today I am showing off the new, well new to me, uh, Mighty Vac model MV8500. Uh, it's nothing new. This, this tool has actually been around for a long time and others have been mimicking it and putting things out on the market almost identical to this. But uh, anyway, let's, let's just get right to it and have a look at what's inside. So at first glance, we are looking at a really nice blow mold case. And uh, yeah, a lot of tools come in these blow mold cases nowadays. Um, but for me, if, if it's a set, I usually keep the case. Uh, if, I get, if I get just some, uh, you know, one-off tool, you know, some, some tools, like a, a wrench or a ratchet will come in in a pull mold case. And I think the design, the, 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 the reason why they do that is because uh, they take up a lot of space and that's how you sell bigger toolboxes to, to guys at the shop. So, uh, yeah, generally I end up throwing these things away, but for a set like this, I like to keep it organized, keep it all in here, and that's, that's why I keep it. And this is, this is definitely a nice one. It, it feels pretty solid. So let's have a look at what's inside. And what do we have here? Uh, we got some bits that have fallen out of there. I'll get to what that is in a minute. Now these, uh, the set includes uh, some of this, this uh, vinyl hose. Um, now this, this I'd like to say is uh, one of the consumables of this product itself. So uh, really fairly quickly, this this will turn a yellowy color and after a little while, it'll probably get brittle and, and, and break and it'll, you'll have a hard time getting a good, uh, good solid uh, airtight uh, connection on the ends here. So yeah, just consider this like a consumable I'd recommend going out and getting a roll of it, just to throw in some drawer somewhere, and because yeah, just being limited to having two, you you're really just gonna put yourself into a pickle at some point. Now let's get to the actual apparatus. Um, this is uh, a, a two functioning pump, so uh, it, it this is actually a really nice feature. Rather than having it it, it um, screwed right down and then locked into place where if it bumps it, it ends up leaking. Uh, the, it looks like they have an, an O-ring on a little uh, gland end there and, and a lock ring to, or a, a locking clip to hold it in place. That's clever. I like that. So, you know, depending on what position you have it in, you, you, you can still torque your head enough to, to see what's, what's actually on the dial. So uh, yeah, it's it's a simple mechanism. It has a diaphragm hand pump, and when, if you cover this, you, you'll notice it, it's drawing a vacuum, and it has a little release here. But nice feature about this is you, you can switch the direction of it, and it's actually putting positive pressure on there. So. Yeah, this this tool can be used for a number of things, bleeding brakes, uh, it, it, it's a great diagnostic tool for when you're doing like EVAP systems and, and things like that, in conjunction with scan tools and, and all kinds of other stuff. But it, you know, the reason I'm buying this today is, you know, a number of technicians at my shop have this and I, you know, in recent times borrowed it a few times too many, so I, I had to go and, and get one myself, right? So yeah, uh, what, I, what I really like about this design though is, is it's actually like a robust uh, casting. This is, this is a cast piece. I'm not sure what kind of metal, some sort of, uh, I mean, it's hefty. So some sort of steel or magnesium. Uh, it, it, it is a really, really hefty unit as opposed to some of the knockoffs on the market. I've seen a few of the knockoffs. I've seen other guys that, that had the knockoffs 
and they were made out of uh, almost like an ABS plastic, really lightweight, chintzy, chintzy, real chintzy feel to it type of tool. It, identical design, but uh, yeah, they just, uh, and you'd often get little cracks here and, and where and whatnot. Just, uh, you know, just using the thing. So I, I know a number of guys that have this particular one and it's lasted them a, a good long time. So it, just like any other tool, you take care of it, it'll, it'll take care of you. So let's look at what else is in the kit here. Um, uh, first off, got this little bottle and this bottle is designed for aiding you in, in bleeding brakes. So, uh, you hook you hook your your vinyl hose to here and then to your your uh, brake bleeder on your caliper or wheel cylinder. Squish it down into this bottle and hook up the other vinyl tube and hook it up to your pump. Pump it up and it'll actually uh, pull the fluid out and and pull any air that may be in the system. So it's a handy little tool um, for for doing for doing brake bleeding and also included in the kit is. I think that I think these things are fantastic. They uh, they're little caps that that screw onto the top. There's two different sizes because there's two different sizes that are typical for brake fluid bottles. So you you crack open your brake fluid bottle. You pop this on the top, screw it down, and then put this little doodad on there. And then you can lay the lay the bottle right on top of your master cylinder and it sits just just around the line the fill the full line so as your your vacuum bleeding your brakes out the as and and the the fluid level drops air gets uh, this gets exposed to air and then some of the fluid falls out until it fills back up to that point and then it stops it clever clever little device so and that's that's also what these these other guys are. They're you know this is this is the old Ford and GM uh, style, really really old school uh, brakes uh, brake master cylinder reservoir. Uh, some of you guys might remember this, maybe not. But yes, it is included in the kit. So if you work on old stuff, there you go. So yeah, again, nice little blow mold case. Everything seems to fit really tight in there. Um, yeah, that, I think they do that because it'll it'll wear itself clean over time. And you know, there's there's another cap for the bottle in case there's some brake fluid in there you want to leave. I I guess I'll mostly be using this cap. Um, again, oh, there's there's another clear vinyl hose for uh, replacement for the one that's in there because that will get buggered up. And then these, these are little right angle attachments so that you can fit um, this over top of the brake bleeder for when you're, when you're pulling the fluid out. And then that, that fits on the vinyl hose. And, and then an, an assortment of different, different plugs for uh, vacuum, intake vacuum lines and, and whatnot. This is a, a pretty nice kit. It's got probably, like most, most likely all the, all the little trinkets that you'll need, that you'll lose and have to replace, uh, but nonetheless it comes with them in the first place. And with with this little, uh, this nice little door to keep them in there. So I'm going to pack this up, see how quick that is, beautiful. So I gotta say, my, my initial reaction to this tool here is that it's uh, a really, really nice piece. I Now, I'm, I'm a bit swayed because I have used it. It's not, it, it's new to me, like I said, but this thing's been around forever and I've actually been borrowing it from another technician at my work. So like, like they say, borrow it once, borrow it twice, go buy it. I wanna see you on the tool truck. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. If you're feeling generous, hit that like button. And if you want to be part of the conversation, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.